All right. If you're watching my uh, tower controls project video, then thanks for staying tuned. If you're just watching this small video, welcome. So what I'm doing, I wanted to make a separate video on this because it was kind of a pain in the butt to figure out. There's a lot of different part, <clears throat> parts you need. So what I'm gonna do is add engine data to my Raymarine Axioms. And I want it to be the Yamaha interface. Yeah, you can see my boat is jacked. If this is the first video you're watching because I'm in the middle of the tower project, but disregard that. So these are the parts you're gonna need for that. Um, and I'll link, not link, I'll write all these down because I had a hard time finding these. But so basically first thing you're gonna need is the 6YG interface unit. So it looks like this, there's two of them out there. This is the one you're gonna wanna get, not the one that has the wires pre-attached. So you need this part, then you're gonna need, <laughs> ah, excuse me. And then you're gonna need a command link plus pigtail. And that's gonna take this, take power from your 6YG to your command link system. And then you're also gonna need a device net to CTOC NG uh, drop cable. So those three parts will get you to do what you need to do. And then I'll show you how you set it up on the unit itself. Um, if you're just using NEMA, you can just get a device net to NEMA cable, but I have CTOC NG in mine. So this is the cable that I use. So I'll show you how I hook this up, how I set it up. And then there was a couple things initially that I couldn't figure out inside the screen itself. So I'll show you how I went through that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see how it works. Pretty simple once I figured it out. But like I said, it was a pain in the butt. No one really knows the right answers on this stuff. It's kind of trial and error. So let me show you how I did it and we'll go from there. All right, this is gonna be impossible to film. And I haven't buttoned everything up yet, so there's just stuff everywhere, which is gonna drive me nuts. But anyway, so what you wanna do is connect the 6YG to the open device port. It's gonna be kind of hard to see, but you can see on the Command Link Plus, um, there's several ports already plugged. I have one open that is a device plug. So you're gonna take this, I'll just set it in there for now. Okay, so that's in there. Then my uh, SCNG device net's already hooked up. I'm gonna run this over to my network, which is right here. All right. Okay, so that's all connected. That's all you gotta do. And obviously I'm gonna tie all this stuff in. I'm just showing you for the video. So this is the 6YG is connected to the command link bus bar then you're just running in and tying into your network. It's super simple. Now the problem that gave me an issue was, let me turn the batteries on and I'll show you on the screen. So stand by one second. Okay, as these are loading up, I'll show you kind of what I had to do. Basically there's a little Yamaha app symbol that's gonna give you the Yamaha engine data. Um, if you go into the normal app, it's not gonna work. So. Basically what you have to do is you have to go into your settings and select the motor type for your system, which is in this case gonna be Yamaha. So let's see. So I already have it set up. So I don't know if you can see this with the GoPro, but that's the Yamaha signal there. That's not gonna show up unless, stereo fired on. So that's not gonna show up unless you go to, let's see if I can remember this. Nope. Settings. Oh, there we go. Settings. Boat details. And then you're going to go to right here where it says number of engines one. Engine manufacturer. You have to select Yamaha or else that app's not going to pop up. So that took me a long time to figure out for whatever reason. Uh, I just overlooked it. And once I finally figured that out, then the Yamaha app popped up. You can see, I'll turn my ignition on, and this is what you get. You get the exact Yamaha display, as I have over here. So it works out nice, and the reason I did this was because on the tower, 
I wanted, all I wanted was a Axiom screen up there. I didn't want to have to add another Yamaha control unit. So now I have this up in the tower and I'll have all my engine data that I need. And obviously it's networked to all my screens. So any screen that is on the network, I'll have the Yamaha engine data and I'll be good to go. So if you have any questions, I know it's a short video. It took me longer to figure out than I'm proud to admit, but it's okay. We got it working and it's going to do exactly what I need it to do. So, and then all these functions, everything's tied in. So it works just like it would on your actual Yamaha control unit. So if you have any questions, let me know. Glad to help. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help. Good luck.